Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Pandora video. So, I mentioned in a recent video that my mom was going on another cruise from London. Um, she was actually going on the inaugural celebration, carnival celebration cruise from London all the way back to the U.S. So it was a transatlantic, which means she did go to a few ports on the other side of the pond. Um, but for the most part, her cruise was sea days coming over the ocean. She did hit a Pandora store for every single place that she went um, when she was over in Europe, mainly because her friend she was cruising with, Miss Kathy, is also a Pandora fiend and she needed charms from all of these places. Um, since mom and I were just there, she'd actually gotten charms from some of these places on our trip. So regardless of all of that, if you're just here for the charms, mom got me the Buckingham Palace button charm from London, which is one of the few that I wanted that I haven't picked up on either of my two trips to London. You know, last trip, I'll link that down below. I got Big Ben, and the first time I was there, I didn't get anything, so I wasn't collecting Pandora at that point. So I really wanted this Buckingham Palace charm. Um, I just like that it's three-dimensional and it's not a dangle. And I really want the Venice button charm to go opposite it. But, you know, one thing at a time. I have been to Venice on that same trip, the first trip I ever took. And I just, I wasn't collecting Pandora then. So don't have any Pandora beads from that time. But I'm going to give you a close-up of this Buckingham Palace charm. I'm also going to give you a close-up of my new Sweden charm. So you might remember from my last video that when we went to Sweden, they were all sold out of this charm. And the sweet sales lady, Miss Kiki, I doubt she'll ever see this, but she was such a sweetheart. She was so kind to us. She let us pay for the charms that day. She can't take payments under the phone or by email, unfortunately, so you can't order a charm from her, but we were able to pay for the charms in the store, total leap of faith that she was doing what she said she was, which she did. And she said she would put them in a bubble mailer and mail them to us the moment they came in. And it took a couple weeks. She said they'd been out of stock forever, but they came in. It has Sweden on one side and a little Swedish horse on the other. And Miss Kiki mailed mom and I each a charm we are so happy. So I'm going to give you a close up of both of these charms right now so you can see what they look like. And of course, I will show you both individually and on my travel bracelet. So if you haven't seen the rest of my travel bracelet, that is a separate video. I will link that below as well. But for now, let's stop talking. Let's start looking at some charms. All right, so here is the Buckingham Palace charm. I love it. It, of course, has the palace with the CZs up top. It has hearts all around. It is double-sided, so you have the palace on both sides. There's your hallmark, so S925ALE. And the other side is good old London. Oh, come on. There we go. I love that it says London. Like, I know that's a little thing, but it's all in the details, right? So I just, again, I love that this charm is three-dimensional and it's like whether, however it flips, it looks fabulous. So one day I will get the Venice one to go opposite it. It has a little gondola, but until then, I'm just very happy to have gotten this one. All right, next up is, of course, the Sweden charm from Miss Kiki. It is still bright and shiny. Just took it out of the package, which means it gets thumbprints very easily. But it says Sweden on one side. It is just a generic heart, so it looks the same as all the other hearts. It has the hearts around the sides. But the showstopper on this one is the red horse. And of course, all of these little country exclusive hearts are slightly different. Some just say the name of the town or the country. Some have a heart and the name of the country, like Germany here is an outline of 
the country, and it says Germany with a heart. So, you know, there's a million different ways it can be. But I love this red heart, heart with the horse. So pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on my bracelet so that y'all can see them with all the other charms. All right, here it is on the bracelet. As you can imagine, it is very hard to keep all of the beads the right way, which is one reason I love the button charm because it is always the right way as opposed to the hearts. I even really like the Sweden heart because it is double sided. So there's always something even when it hangs upside down and backwards. I do really like both. I will be much happier next year. Mom and I are going to Greece and I'm going to get one of the Greece hearts. And eventually when I make my way back to Italy, I will get the Venice button charm. And then I can put the two button charms opposite each other and the two, this heart opposite another heart. But, you know, that's just my OCD kicking in. So if you want to take a charm by charm, bead by bead, look at this entire bracelet. I will link that below, but in the meantime, I'm very happy to have two new additions to this bracelet. I love it so much. Thank you, Miss Kiki, for your help in getting that Sweden charm. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.